understand excellent strategy to solve equations involving absolute value functions. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to our series on solving equations. Now, we have taken very beautiful equations in our playlist. This is the one in which we have absolute values on both sides of equality. As such, you know, solving equations involving absolute values is kind of tricky, right? And when we have two of them involved, it could be challenging also. So, in this particular case, we'll not only solve but understand a strategy which can be very helpful and can always be applied right so the strategy here is uh, square both sides right so in an absolute value we already have positive number as an output right so if you square we get positive itself so that means squaring both sides should work always so let's begin by writing this equation as 2 minus 3x equals to x minus 4, right, and square both sides, okay, so we square. So, if x's are equal, then their squares will also be equal, makes sense, right, provided both are positive, correct. Okay, so we could rewrite this as 2 minus 3x whole square equals to x minus 4 whole square. And when you expand, you get, apply the formula, right? The formula, you know, is a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square, correct? And if you have minus here, then in the center, minus 2ab, perfect. Applying this formula, we get square of 2, which is 4, minus 2ab means 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 3, 12, right? And square of 3x will be 9x square, right? It is positive, right? On this side, square. And then minus 2ab means 8x. And square of 4, which is 16. Perfect. So we have 9x square on the left-hand side. I'll bring every term to the left-hand side. So we have 9x square. And then I'm taking this x square away. Then I'm writing minus 12x and adding 8x. So, I'm rearranging also simultaneously. Makes sense, right? You could just bring them all together and then simplify. 9x square minus x square is 8x square minus 12x plus 8x is minus 4x. And here we have minus 12 equals to 0. So, we have a quadratic function which we can factor and then solve. Perfect. Great. So, you know. I have written here title as zeros of quadratic function. But what we have done really is we have extended this to include absolute value functions also and see how while solving absolute value functions, we could land up with quadratic equations and then apply the strategies which you have learned in solving quadratic equations to solve them. Makes sense, right? Okay, great. So, how will you do this? Well, factor, right? So, we have 8x square minus 4x minus 12. I could take 4 common. So, I get 2x square minus x minus 3 equals to 0. Now, we could do product and sum. 4 times, uh, 2 times 3 is 6, right? With a negative sign, right? Minus 6 we have. And we need minus x. So, we could split this as 2x square minus 3x right because 3 times 2 is 6 that is the product we want but the sum is minus 1 so minus 3x plus 2 x correct minus 3 equals to 0 so that becomes 4 times now within 2x square and 3x i could take x common so let me also use a bracket which is a square bracket okay so that is what we'll do now x is common so we get 2x minus 3 and here we already have 2x minus 3. So, we could write this as 2x minus 3 as a common factor and the other factor becomes x plus 1, right, equals to 0. Now, to solve this equation, we will write 2x minus 3 equals to 0 and x plus 1 equals to 0. 
So that gives you two different solutions. One of them is x equals to 3 that side divided by 2, 3 by 2. The other one is x equals to minus 1. Great. So we got two solutions of this equation x equals to 3 by 2 and x equals to minus 1. We know both are correct. However, it is a question of practice, right? Uh, we should verify whether these are absolutely correct answers or extraneous roots, right? So, 3 by 2 and minus 1, let's uh, write down. We found the x value as 3 by 2 and we got x equals to minus 1. So, let us check the solutions. Is it okay? Now, it is not necessary for you to check. However, it is a good practice and that is why we will end our video by checking this result. Perfect. Okay, so let us check this solution. So, we are going to first check the value x equals to 3 by 2, right? So, if I substitute on the left hand side, we get x equals to 2 minus 3 times 3 by 2, right? Okay, on the right hand side, we have x x is 3 by 2, right? So, we will put 3 by 2 here, minus 4, absolute value. So, these are the two sides, right? Left side and the right side. Both should give us the same result, right? So, we get here 2 minus 9 by 2, which is equal to 4 minus 9 over 2, right? Which is equal to minus 5 by 2, which is equal to 5 by 2, correct? On the right hand side, we have 3 minus 8 by 2, correct? Taking common denominator, which is minus 5 by 2, which is same as 5 by 2, and both are equal. That means this value works. Clear? Now let's try minus 1 also. So for left side and right hand side, we'll try minus 1. Substituting minus 1, we get 2 minus 3 times minus 1 will make it plus 3 which is absolute value of 5, which is 5, right? That is the left side. On the right hand side, we have a minus 1 minus 4, which is minus 5, which is also equal to 5. And both are equal, right? So, see, we are verified. So, that means the strategy of squaring both sides really works and so easy. You do not have to split it into four different parts and do simultaneously, you know, solve four different equations. That would be very difficult and time consuming. I hope you understand and appreciate this particular strategy. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.